disassembling this wonderful contraption. Hopefully my spades don't pull out. I guess that's a sure sign that they're on there solid. Cause that's not easy to pull out. Arr! <laughs> going to go in here, in here. Ah, no! Fancy, I don't need. As long as it's in there and holds, I'll pack it in so it holds it even better. But I just want this to mount to that. bit that one off anyway that'll that should work should hold it in place so now I'll take off that and put it up to there Okay, so that looks pretty good. It's in there tight, um, secured and back behind the uh, wall so that when the wiring's all done, we can just cover this for the most part. But next, I need to bring this at least, not, you know, more of a getting closer uh, down below here or, and um, then have it so it's out of the way and into a more of a finalized spot. So this is squared away now. Uh, we've moved over the um, bus, oh, I'm not going to call it a bus bar, a fuse, fuse box, fuse bar, whatever. I don't want to look it up again, but it's up mounted a little bit crooked, but uh, still going to be uh, fine as far as the wall coming down uh, over top of it. We'll have an access panel as I just mentioned, but this has to come down into more of a closer to finalized state. It's gonna be inset on the wall that's there, so I can't tack it in until the wall is actually done or until we have that sort of all figured out, uh, which we don't right now. We have the wood, but we, anyway. I'm gonna move this down into a, a spot so it looks a little more uh, tidy. And now uh, disassembling this wonderful Contraption, hopefully my spades don't pull out. I guess that's a sure sign that they're on there solid. Cause that's not easy to pull out. <laughs> you find the starting point, I just unravel it, but it's so dark in here right now, as you can probably tell that it's not worth anyone's while. There we go. So that's a part, no more power to it. I will remove it from up here. Mm. Propane fridge doesn't like that. That's one of the first things I've actually dropped. I shouldn't have said that now, should I? It's chock full of stuff. This propane fridge is awesome, but it's got to be vented outside. This is the loosely tacked in area, so I'm going to create a sealed envelope for it, but not today. It's a pretty simple, uh, it's called, it's a unique wood stove, um, wood stove, it's a unique uh, propane fridge. Works off of uh, 120, 12 volt and propane. 
we use the propane mostly, but if we hook up the rest of our solar system in here, we might try to do it uh, 12 volt. It's fairly efficient. It goes through about, a, I know, one small tank uh, a month. We're going to be sealing it in so that this part vents outside. And we also create a separation between, I think it's like the exhaust and this venting so that these can uh, displace the heat to do the uh, refrigeration. That's good news. I like, uh, you know, when you start thinking about the work, I was like, oh, I'll have to change those connections, but it's just the spades. So that's really just half the work. This one has to be changed out there because it's just nasty. Ooh, those are, that's feel nice. I'm gonna put this one on here first. Where's the crimper part? I guess I'll just do that. Right. Seems to be on there. Um, let's put them all on first. And some tape. So this part's pretty simple. There's only four connections. Two of them are actually for um, an aspect of lighting, which I don't even think I'm gonna I'm gonna need. So I don't think they're even gonna be hooked up. But we'll we'll prepare them anyway. This has the spade connectors. So now we're just gonna create the connections for this uh, going to the fuse box. Just in case I need six, this should be pretty straightforward. Let's try this, yeah, I like that. It's sticking right through nice now. These are perfect. Shouldn't squeeze too too hard, but yeah, that's that's a solid connection. I don't I'm pretty sure I don't have to insulate that, so I'm not even gonna tape it. And let's do another one. So this one is another power source, so I need it to be crimped. Do the upper ones. I need to fix this so that I can use it. We need to be able to see out here. So we're just going to finalize, temporarily finalize this stuff. I'm just going to plug in enough to be able to see. Double the fuse. Let's see this is actually. Um. There, and the spades work.
Okay. So where does everything go from the structure? I mean, we're gonna be wiring this stuff in and we can flip the switches and you guys can see it, but I'll just explain it here right now. One runs right over through the roof, tacked in along, holes drilled here, holes drilled basically anywhere we needed to do to do the run all the way through. One runs up the wall and across all the way along, you know, the upper part of the structure away from the studs and such. I tried to stay away from the studs uh, and runs where I was going to be potentially reworking areas in the future. Probably never will, but uh, it's still good to have that uh, possibility. One goes right to the above, through here. Um, down here, you can see some more connection points. You can see a bunch coming through here. One of these wires goes right down to the battery. Uh, it's going to be eventually be on the other side, but for testing purposes and for now it's fine. Um, and we have two more wires over here right now. There might be a third coming soon. I don't have any more wire, but there might be another one coming soon. Uh, one is going to go to the under lights of the loft, and the other one goes to a desk area 